Hello everyone! This time I'm playing Zaragvestrian. The last time I played this game was like a week after I recorded the first Zaragvestrian video. I have gotten some new horses and getting a bit further on the main story and also I've done some side quests. And yes, it's been a while since I played this game, so I might be a bit crusty. Let's quickly check what's new in this game. I see they have added the clubs. I'm not really like a social person in games, that's why I won't be joining a club. Um, latest news, Christmas in Everwale in February, okay. I think they have added some new horses and horse colors. Yeah, I think there's a lot more now than there was before. I think I've bought like two or three horses from this royal stable. I will be showing them to you soon. As you can see, there's so many nice horse coats and breeds to get, but sadly they cost real money. Or, well, you can actually get these gems or diamonds in the game, but it's kinda hard. And now, let me mount my horse and I'm gonna show you... Here you can see all the horses I currently have. Warrior was the starter horse I got, and after that, I think I got Dollar. It's on Mastery 2 level 4 star and he's like challenging horse, same as Tinker. They are kinda annoying to ride. It's pretty sad because Tinker is really nice horse. I would really like to train him and ride him more, but as you can see, he's a little spicy. And the last horse is 5 star Clydesdale that I named Chester. Tinker is actually the newest horse I got. Chester was the second or third horse I got. Let's go check the quests then. I've completed 61% of the story. Currently in the hard side I have this one jumping horse I need to do. But as you can see, um, I don't have a good enough horse yet, so I will be needing to do a lot of training with Chester. I think he has the best capacity, and I've already kind of trained him a lot. And then, what about the Agricola? Okay, I cannot do anything there yet. Mm, side stories. Uh, I have completed some of these. What's this race? Alright, I think I actually should be able to do this, so let's try. Let's see, oh my god, too fast. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how <laughs> the controls on this game. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this, but maybe I will get the hang of it again after a bit. Um, <laughs> okay, great, jump leveled up. Oh, I'm only one ribbon away. So let's actually retry this. Now that I maybe got the hang of it still too fast. Okay, something leveled up again. Let's retry again. I think I'm getting a bit better every round. The angles are so hard to get sometimes. What? Oh, I forgot this game had this. I can't go too far from the track, right? I think my recorder just cut out, but I got three ribbons, yay! So, thank you, yes, that's done. What else did I have? Okay, I need to go speak to her. Alright, what next? Who is missing their pocket? Hmm, who would be missing their pocket? Like, usually every quest tells you where you need to go. Because, as you can see, this is quite a big map, so it's like... Even tell me in which area the person I'm supposed to take the packet to is. Like, is he around the town, or where the heck is he or she? Like, do I just seriously ride around the whole map and go to every person, asking if they have lost their packet? I don't have the patience for that. Hello, mister, have you lost your packet? Doesn't seem like it. That's annoying. I won't be wasting my time for that. Then I need to collect some lettuce. And gold ribbon. Let's see. <laughs> Are we able to do this? Mm, not maybe. 
but let's try. I think I need to concentrate on the jumps a bit more, but at the same time I'm supposed to make a fast time, so I really cannot slow down too much for each jump. Yeah, not even close. <sighs> yep, that requires a lot more training. What else did I have here? So, I think I just must train my horse now. Yes, I don't have these open yet. I had the two races I need to complete, but my horse is not skilled enough yet. Let's feed some things to my horse, so I don't have to do so much racing. I still want to save some of these things, of course. Let's see... I think he needed some stamina too. Then I'm just gonna go do some races to try and level up my horse. Um, so I'm not able to do this yet. Let's see... If I have a gold medal here, or the fantastic result, I should be able to also have it in here, in these easier races. Let me see how I do. Personally, I like these cross-country races a lot more than the show jumping. Sometimes it just feels that show jumping is asking too much. Like I need to have everything perfect. Of course, when I train my horse and it gets more experience, it gets easier. And the tracks are not that impossible anymore. But yeah, it's a bit grindy to try to get enough experience to be able to complete those show jumping races. Great! And it's not a fantastic result, it's magnificent, okay. <laughs> Did you never remember that one? So, that's one race done. Let me do the next one. Going with Chester, trying to train him up a little bit. And as you may know, this is an online game, so there should be other people going around, but I don't actually have the show other people on at the moment. <laughs> I like to play alone. So just if you were wondering where all the other people are, <laughs> that's why. You can turn it off in settings so you don't see other people. It's just a lot more peaceful and fun to play alone, I think. Or this is what I prefer. Great, another magnificent score. Next course, the show jump hustle. Show jump hustle. And this is not show jumping for sure. Well, okay, there is actually some show jumping here. Very interesting track. I am kinda getting frustrated with the races and with training my horse. Compared to Star Stable, for example, this is a lot more painful to train my horse, actually. Even though I thought it would be the opposite. And I think there was a reason why I wasn't playing this game for like two or three months. I can see now that it has got very, very repetitive for me. Just training and leveling up my horse so I can maybe someday do the races the story quest requires me to do. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. <laughs> it's not going too well for me, but pretty much there is not too many options what I can do at this point other than training my horse or horses. And I'm definitely not gonna train multiple horses at a time. I'm only gonna train the best one that have the best stats. And of course then I could collect some stuff, go around the world, collect mostly like food and some resources, do those collecting side quests. But those are not even earning me money at the moment, just mostly food. So I guess I'm kind of stuck with the raining and I can tell you I'm not having too much fun at the moment. Definitely the jumping system is a bit too strict. It should be a lot easier. Like I'm an adult player, I can just imagine how much little children are struggling with this. Trying to time the jump perfectly and everything. It's a bit too hard in my opinion and there is not really a reason why it should be this hard. Of course, they want people to grind and spend more time on this game, but is it actually doing any good to this game? Because personally, when I just try to do one race over and over again and I keep failing, it is not really encouraging me to play. I just want to log off and like <laughs> have many many months in between before I play again. Yeah, maybe they should do something about this. 
not liking that too much. I'm gonna try another track at this point. Let's go to the next one. I don't want to just repeat one race like 10 times in a row because I'm already getting a bit of frustrated if I'm not lying. At first this was very very fun game and I kind of loved this. But then I stopped playing for a few months and just now I was wondering why did I stop playing this? I was having so much fun but now I do remember why I stopped playing this. This is one of the most annoying training systems, to be fair. If you think that I've been playing this game, I'm not sure if I can check it anywhere, but I would say I've been playing at least like 30 to 40 hours, and I'm still like <laughs> struggling here. And at the point I cannot even continue the story quests, pretty much all I can currently do is train my horses around these races again and again, multiple times then go collect some food, just ride around. So there is like two things for me to do at the moment. I'm, I'm very sorry that I'm complaining so much, but that's just how I feel. Like, I'm for some reason, I got very, very frustrated with this game so quickly. Like five minutes of playing or ten minutes, I was like, I wanna stop. But at the same time, I don't wanna stop and I wanna give this a possibility and like get back to this game. It is not a bad game. Like I understand if I would have completed the story already that I don't have anything to do, but I'm like 61% through. I have a lot to do still, yet I don't have anything to do at the moment other than just drain my horse. I don't know, maybe I'm just a person that likes to like progress kinda quickly in games. I don't really like these parts where I'm just supposed to grind and grind and just train my horse with these sometimes super hard races for hours and hours. But I cannot do anything about that other than complain. And I don't really like complaining. I don't complain often. I don't know. I'm kinda disappointed at this point. Let me do something else than training for a while. So, conclusions from the first video I made. I probably said that I'm afraid that the training will get repetitive. And I was right. What are these horses? I don't even think I've actually been in here. Or have I? There is a foal. <laughs> kinda funky looking. Let's go take a closer look. <laughs> it's kinda <of> funky. <laughs> okay, but still, nice that they added foals. Then my question is, is there breeding in this game? <laughs> I haven't heard about it yet. I see there's some whip specific quests. Mm, and probably needless to say, if I'm planning on getting the VIP, the answer is no. I think it's very expensive compared to what you get from it, or what you actually get in this game. But maybe at some point, when they update this game even more, and it maybe gets better, <laughs> let's hope so, and hope that they really do something about the training system. I think a lot more people would be playing this actively if the training wasn't so painful. I would be one of them, definitely. Even though I have so many other games to play. It is kind of sad because I wanted to like this game. And I liked this for a while. But when you get far enough in this game, there is just training. And I also want to do other things in the game than just train. Oh, there was a chest. I didn't even see it. Let me just ride around and try to collect some things. And uh, I actually think I need to have this active. Otherwise, it doesn't count the lettuces I pick up for that quest. And it's kind of painful. <laughs> like, there was one quest where I was supposed to collect, like, I think 30 carrots. But I took another quest on top of it. And I was just going around collecting carrots. I collected, like, 50. And I was wondering how the quest wasn't progressing at all. And then I realized that I need to have, like, the quest active. Otherwise, it won't count the things you collect. I learned that from the hard way. I don't know if they have fixed that actually now, but a few months ago I was collecting the carrots. It didn't count them if the quest wasn't active. I really hope that they have fixed that so other people won't get stuck or annoyed with it. So I definitely learned that the hard way. 
and I'm trying to learn from my mistakes here and actually have the quest active so I'm not just going around collecting all the letters and then just noticing that yeah, it didn't count them as you can see, there is all kinds of food and like other things like wood and butterflies to collect you can see them in the minimap every time there is something to collect there is kinda like a sprout symbol on the map popping up I'm just mostly looking at the map and going there, then collecting the things. So I don't actually need to stare at the world and try to see what there is to collect. In my opinion, it's just easier to look at the minimap. Let's maybe feed some more. I needed some stamina. And maybe the jumping was pretty much on a good level, but maybe it will make the jumping actually easier if I try to up the jumping. Is this game broken? I am sure I just fed my horse 6 strawberries and 7 watermelons, so I should have 10 of each. But it didn't take them away from me. That might just be a glitch and if I feed like 10 more then I have like 0 or something. Let's maybe ride a bit to the forest, gonna go see what kinds of foods we have here, or what kind of collectibles. There's at least berries and mushrooms, I think. What was that? <laughs> I was going too fast. Oh yeah, mushrooms. But yeah, overall, the places here are kinda pretty. I must admit that I like this collecting part. <laughs> I like to run around in these areas, because... The map is already kinda big, even though I don't have all the places open yet. It's not just the town I'm riding around. It is kinda fun collect these things. Wait, is the bear here? Look at it. <laughs> there is a bear. Why it's so big? Oh my god, that's creepy. <laughs> Look at this. That's a huge bear. Like it's almost bigger than my glide's tail. What happens if I go too close to it. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hello bear. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry that I'm laughing. My horse got hurt and it lost like five pound. But that bear, <laughs> that's... It is at the same time that bear. It is very very scary, but it's hilarious. They didn't put too much time into that model, I don't think. But yeah, that was a bear. I hope nobody got too scared. It was a scary looking bear. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go do some more races now, I think. I've had a nice break from the racing. Let me go again lose my motivation in here. So, let's see. Hmm, I really don't want to do short jumping. Let's go here. Uh, let me try this one. Now I'm really trying to concentrate. <laughs> and I failed the first jump. Nice. Or well, I actually didn't fail it, but I think I need better results than what I got. It should be green, but now it was yellow circle there. Let's be careful here. Yeah, I can definitely already see the difference in here. I leveled up my horse quite a bit, so this was quite a lot of easier than the last time I tried this. I only have one ribbon here. I am not skilled enough. Surprise, surprise. But I'm still gonna try this if I could maybe get some more ribbons. And I think you gain more XP with the harder races than you get from the easier races. That would make sense, at least in my head. So don't take my word. I haven't fact-checked it. That's just what I assume and how it's usually in games. That was such a bad feeling. How did that even go like that? Oh no. I was gonna say this is already feeling a lot better. And I'm doing better with these jumps, but... <laughs> not really. I still should be able to finish these races and not like fail. Even though my horse isn't in the required level yet. But I assume no then. Mm, but I think I don't overall have the level of focus at the moment what this game and mostly training requires. 
and that's one thing why I'm getting frustrated. And I can tell you, I usually don't get frustrated in the games ever. It requires a lot for me to get frustrated. But this game has managed to do that. Let's just try one more race, just for fun. <laughs> Even though it's not fun, I'm not enjoying this at the moment. I hope you are having fun watching. <laughs> I don't know if anyone is having fun. I think this is painful to watch me fail and complain. But I promise I will be giving this game another chance. Maybe at a better time. But yeah, please tell me if you want to see more of this game. I will be doing at least one more video before I give up with this game. Maybe more, if I start to enjoy this game. But right now it doesn't really seem like I will be enjoying this when going forward. But yeah, the collecting thing and just like riding around. Of course, doing quests. I like that. I would really like to continue with the main quest. And right now I cannot do it. Before I train my horse for like 10 hours. Yeah, I don't know why the game wants me to. I definitely think there shouldn't be this big of a chunk on like 61% of the story completed where you have to train your horse like 10 hours. I would understand if they require like 2 to 5 hours of training, but I think I've been training like 10 hours soon because like the past 2 or 3 days I was playing this game before the break, I was just training. What else should I do? Let's see how I'm doing with this. Are you kidding me? Do you remember earlier when I started to go collect the things and I came here to activate this quest? I had 18 out of 30 letters collected. I still have 18 letters collected and I've definitely collected more letters. Yeah, like I didn't have 48. <sighs> nice. I think it deactivated the quest at some point. That's just what I was talking about. Now I need to go again and collect all the letters I just collected. That is just stupid. I should be able to keep going with the side quest and other quests, even though I like take a new quest. <laughs> Probably if I wasn't filming a video, I would just stop playing right now. But something still keeps me going. I want to get at least something done. So this video is not just me failing the races. Well, I did succeed in some races. I got the better score, but yeah. I think I've run out of wood to collect. Let's actually go on this side. So I think I cannot collect all the letters right now. That's annoying. I still kind of want to keep going with the races to try to level up my horse. So I can maybe someday continue with the main story. But I need a lot more levels for that. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm kind of disappointed that I got like nothing done. I didn't get any further in the story and didn't get the side quest done. So yeah, not the best time in this game for me. And I'm very sorry that I was complaining so much. I just want to speak the truth and what I'm thinking. Of course, if you love this game, I'm happy about that, but I just cannot find this spark anymore. It has just gotten so repetitive for me. I am sorry about me being like kinda negative and complaining that just my opinions in this game and how I feel after like I would say 30 to 50 hours played. So I'm not just jumping into this game playing for like an hour and being like okay this is a bad game. No, I have played this game. At first it was good game, I was very enjoying it. Right now I'm stuck at 61% of the story completed and before I can continue any further I just need to train my horse. Let me actually change the horse I've bit. So this is Tinker, one of the new horses I got. And <laughs> let's continue with the outro. I think if I bought the VIP I would have more things to do. To be fair I am not ready to put money in this game at this point. If you have any ideas what other things people can do in this game Please tell me, and also if you have any other comments, suggestions, tips for this game or anything, please leave them down below. And I also would like to hear your opinion if you are playing this game. That do you like this game? Like, at what point are you? Are you Have you reached the point where you just train your horses like me? Or are you still having fun with the game? <laughs> 
I promise I will be doing at least one more video in this game. I think I really need to do some more training before the next video, so I can actually complete and achieve something in the next video. Today wasn't the best day, I got nothing done, but I hope you still somewhat like the video. Let me actually get the third horse I have, that you haven't really seen yet. Each dollar. I don't have a tax set for him. I really haven't been riding dollar, because he's challenging horse, crumby one, and these are annoying to ride. But without further ado, thank you for watching and sorry that I was kinda negative in this video. And then, don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. Remember to tell your opinions in this game and if you have any tips for me. Until next video, bye bye!